Hi hey everybody, this is Wintermute. So I'm, uh, this is my living room and there's a reason I'm in my living room doing this video. Uh, it's because I want to talk about uh, some corporate hubris that I'm dealing with right now and uh, and what I'm going to do about it. So I'm going to kind of break this up into several smaller segments and kind of walk through one thing to the next and deal with one topic as the next. I'm going to try to make them shorter but rapid fire, um, but I, I please watch them at least this first one so you get an idea of what's happening and how I'm going to ask people to help me deal with it and what I'm going to do to de uh, uh, work with work towards stopping it in the future so real quick I bought a brand new tv recently uh it's it's beautiful let me uh let me it's the best way to do this here uh oh it won't let me switch in so it's uh it's right there you can see it it's a, a, you know, 55 inches, really nice, high definition, flat screen. It's from Samsung. And, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to say the brand name um, many, many times. Samsung. This is Samsung's problem. So, I've always wanted a television like this. And I knew when I bought one, uh, I've never really had the money to spend on myself for it. So, I'm like, okay, you know what? It's time. I got a, a nice bonus check at work. Um, even though I'm, I, I wasn't planning on going on short-term disability when I bought it. I just, I did that a couple weeks beforehand, but you know, whatever I'm stuck at home. It, it's not the end of the world. It wasn't, it actually, they weren't, wasn't terribly inexpensive, all things considered, but I bring it home and I start setting it up. And now I will say this real quick about Samsung is they're the closest thing to brand loyalty. I have, I'm not a brand loyalist at all. Um, Samsung's one of those few brands though, where like this phone is a Samsung and when it's out on the display case with a bunch of other phones, I'm usually going to kind of hone in on the Samsung ones, uh, because I've, I, my last five phones have been Samsung phones and I've, I've never had a problem with them and, and they've always worked well. And I, I know how to navigate into the menus and whatnot <clears throat> and deal with their setup fairly well. And they've always had pretty good customer support. Um, so I'm like, when I'm at the store, I'm like, okay, the Samsung one is a little more expensive, but uh, you know what? I'm okay paying that extra bit because I, I, I feel that they're going to support their product well and it's going to work well. Uh, I didn't expect the problems that I ran into. So step one is I bring it home. I get it set up. I turn it on. I connect it to the internet. It's a smart television, and I wanted a smart television. Now, previously, I had an older style television, and I had a Roku hooked up to it. And Roku is a fantastic product. But I knew I wanted a smart television just to have basically the Roku built into it, or the Roku equivalent built into it. So when I turn on the, the television and I start uh, uh, working on things and getting it set up, and of course, it's a little more involved because basically televisions now are like small computers. Um, so you've got to log into this, log into that and kind of get this setting up, set up and all that now. And, and so I understand all that and I, I'm sure it's going to come with some bloatware on it that I'm going to get rid of. And then I, I turn the television on and immediately there's something playing in the background. Like I haven't even, as soon as it's connected to the internet, there's something playing on the background and I'm like, okay, that's, that's weird. But I'm like, okay, it's bloatware. They, they're setting it up so that they can try to advertise to you by default. And it's like, whatever. Okay, I'll turn that off when I get to it. Well, I'm working through that. And it's a little annoying to have something going on in the back. I'm not even paying any attention to it. I think it's a commercial or something. It turns out it was a movie. I'm like, oh, this is a movie. Oh, whatever. Who cares? It's on Samsung television. So I, uh, I, I turn it off. I, I go pick up my kids for the weekend. I come back here. I start working on the television again, getting everything set up, messing around with the settings, uh, going through some of the apps that are installed. And that thing is still playing in the background. And then I realize um, that thing that's playing is a Van Wilder movie. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay. Now, if you're not familiar with the Van Wilder movies, they're body, raunchy, kind of, you know, frat, hum frat boy humor. Not my kind of movie, but I don't even care. I can kind of block it out. Um, but then I realize my, my kids are actually in the room right behind me playing, you know, doing their own thing. Uh, my kids are 9 and 10, and I realize, oh, Van Wilder's not really appropriate for their age. Now, they're mature kids, and it's, I'm not really going to have to worry about it that much. But I'm still kind of like, oh, okay. <clears throat> Um, who thought this was an appropriate thing to be just splashing on somebody's TV by default? That, that was already, uh, that kind of set the stage, 
for, for problems down the line. This is nothing, though. This is nothing. This is not a big deal. This is a bad decision by somebody at, at Samsung that this should be the channel that you're splashing on the television because that is not an age-appropriate movie for my for the my kids. And I could see a lot of parents running into that problem where, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is he making penis jokes when my eight-year-old's in the room or younger? Um... Uh, okay, bad decision. I'm like, I'm going to have to write an email or something to Samsung about that. But it's not the end of the world. I go in and I try to, try to turn it off. And I'm like, okay, well, I wasn't too worried about it. I, it's bloatware. I'm going to deal with it, whatever. I'm going to go in. I turn it off. I I, I look to turn it off. I, I I can't figure out how to stop it. So there's there's something immediately being streamed to my television right away. Right away, right away. And it's like, okay, that's bad enough. That's annoying. Whatever I know, I know phones and televisions and whatnot set themselves up like this because they want to they want to advertise to you right away. Run over, want to advertise, and if you're not don't not any if you're not tech savvy, you'll just kind of suck it up and deal with it. Uh, I am fairly tech savvy, and I could not figure out how to turn this off. I'm like, okay, this is this is getting obnoxious. So finally, I I turned the channel and I turned it on some wildlife show, and I'm like, okay, well that stops the problem for now because I don't. I don't want to keep Van Wilde. It's not even my type of thing. I don't. I, so some nature show about Australia and how everything's trying to kill you. Um, no, literally, that, that's what it was about. Um, so I I Google how to okay. How do I turn off the Samsung TV autoplay feature? Well, as soon as I Google it. Which, and this solves most of my tech support problems. You just kind of Google it and somebody comes, oh, there's a setting in there for this. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I, I see. It was just in a weird place. We didn't expect it. No biggie. Um, it is forum page after forum page after forum page of people saying, oh my God, Samsung, what is wrong with you? Stop this. We don't want this. I'm like, oh, no, this is a problem. Already, I'm getting page after page after page of page of page of page of people bitching and complaining about Samsung and this autoplay feature. Uh-oh. Uh, did I make a bad decision here? I'm like, no, this can't be right. This can't be right. There, there's no way. There's no way this can be right. Um, so at this point, I, I, I mute the television <laughs> Um, just so I, just so I have quiet in my, my own living room. I want quiet. I want my television on so I can interface with it, but I want quiet in my own living room. So you already see where this is, is rubbing me the wrong way, where immediately the second I turn my television on, um, I'm, you know, inundated with television. I don't want that. That's not, that's not, look, I, I just turned it on now. Do incredible physical features. I, 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 Jack Hanna is a perfectly fine show to, to want to watch, but I don't want it on the second I turn my television on. If I turn my television on, I want a blank screen. I want to hit menu, uh, which I did. I hit, you know, I, at various points I hit menu, and then I realized, oh no. What's that down there? Okay, Jack, did you like the butterflies? They're in the right place. Are there a lot of them here? Well, in Costa Rica, we have sponsored ads on my menu bar on my television. I'm like, okay, time to call tech support. Now I'm going to turn this off because I don't want that playing in the background while I'm making this video. So you see where I'm going with this, okay? And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the video short here, um, just to kind of break it up a little. And and I'm gonna kind of do these rapid fire, hopefully, and kind of lay it all out. And uh, but. But really what I'm, what I'm asking of people is I'm asking for people to help me in the end. And I'm going to get to what I want that to be, what, what I see the solution being um, and, and, and action being taken by, by consumers. Um, but but there's, there's a lot more to this. So this is just the first wave, but I'm going to cut it short here and I'll come back to this uh, in a bit.